on June 10th. Brought to you by First Mondays Live Jazz and Blues. We're here on every First Monday. I know this is not First Monday, but yeah, my niece graduated last Monday, so I had to go to Ohio. So we put it out the second Monday, which is fine because June 10th is on June 15th, so we're closer to June 10th. So right now, we're going to bring to you my friend Lauren Lee. during Juneteenth, which I think is appropriate. And he's going to start with some spirituals, y'all. We're going to go way back to the origins of the music. So he's going to start with some spirituals. So y'all, give it up for Mr. Lauren Lee. Thank you, you all. Uh, I'm going to start off with a song. Actually, you know what, Chandra? Uh, interesting thing, Juneteenth, Yes, Juneteenth in Texas. That's, that was the big day. But I believe Oklahoma holds a little bit of the banner because I think we were the last state to abolish the Native <laughs> Americans signed the treaty in July 27th, 1866. I'm a music professor, I've been for about 20 years on the East Coast, Dr. Warren Lee. But uh, y'all, 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 y'all. So I just wanted to let you know, Oklahoma has a little history. We just have to let it know. So we're going to start off with a song that was about things that happened after slavery ended during Jim Crow. This is a great song called Strange Fruit.
bit. Well, it's so interesting when you don't know about the ground you stand on. So this next song has a lot to do about the ground we sing on and the ground we stand on. So the African people brought here to the United States, we sing a lot to sort of get through. I don't know if you all have ever been with somebody that really like upset you, you were dating, and you kind of just had to hum a song about it. And just kind of like, oh Lord, whatever. We did a lot of oh Lord, whatever here. And so, and for different reasons. You know, sometimes we had to sing through it so we didn't slap through it. And so I think the spirituals, this next song is the spiritual, but the great part about the spiritual is if we did not have the spirituals, we would have been a very dangerous people. And so please, please, we thank our ancestors that we learned how to sing through it. And this is one of the songs. It's called, I Know I've Been Changed. Because there have been some times I felt like I was going to slap somebody through it. But God had to help me out. Somebody had to put away the pistol. I know somebody got it in here. Damn it. But I know I've been changed. If you feel like joining in, then please do.
the church part and the crown royal part. All together. They all spirits. They all spirits. I need to all spirits. All right, come on, Janice. So listen to here, Janice Francis Smith. She's like, she's like, really? So Janice Francis Smith here is an artist that does like, you know, stuff. <laughs> Some of it is like folk, but y'all know what? It was ours too. <laughs> y'all know people try to clown me out there, but it's like, touch your name and you want music too, why y'all playing? All right, but we got Janice Francis Smith. All right, so Janice is gonna do an original, and then she's gonna do Sweet Georgia Brown with the rest of the band coming up. So y'all, give a warm round of applause to Janice Francis Smith.
Yeah, we're gonna have some fun. This is another one. I love this one because I learned it from Miss Lena Horne, who got cast in a lot of movies before any other black woman was, but then they didn't know what to do with her. <laughs> she had like three roles, and basically it was to sing this song and look perfect. Give it up for this band, aren't they awesome?
social media because when I tell you, Mary Reynolds, who's coming up, and Louise Goldberg, who's on keys, are incredible musicians and vocalists that do a wide variety of genres. That's cool with that child habits. Look, because we got some no-shows, so they ain't going to get in for the no-shows. But they do lots of black music, okay? And they do it well. What they do? Look, they do black music and they do it well. So, we're about to hear from Miss Brown to you.
and we were down in uh, Deep Deuce, like the fake Deep Deuce now. And they did that song. And I mean, you know, I was raised in church, so I wanted to get up and scream and holler. But like the audience, while I could tell they were appreciating it, they were wild. So they were real quiet. So I was like, Lord, if I jump up and start hollering, they gonna call 911 or something, something. Let me just sit up here and suck this all in, but y'all, I've been following them ever since. Miss Brown, to you, y'all. Mary Reno, the Louise Goldberg. Y'all finally on social media. Their, this show is phenomenal. They are both multi-instrumentalists and vocalists and are just incredible artists. So y'all, we're going to bring Devin Lewis on up here.
You know who Bobby Blue playing this way, is. If you know Bobby Blue playing this way, is. Now, I'm a, I'm a young man, but I'm an old man. Because that's what a lot of people like about it. In my heart, it felt like love. She 
was on, she was on, I had to be full. <laughs> oh, I wish it was me each day. Play it for me, y'all.
Again, Louise Goldberg on keys. Red Wayne Bullet on bass. Byron Collins on drums. Clayton Ruffy on the time. Trevor Gavin on sax. I'm Shannon Graham, y'all. We're here every first Monday for live jazz and blues. Y'all come on through next month. Like, I don't know what day it is, but uh, y'all come on through next month on the first Monday. We'll see y'all then. Well, thank the Icy Vic Center and the staff. Thank y'all so much. And thank you all for hanging out. Y'all happy June 10th!